the funniest story you got. Funniest story. In the, in funniest the story. Yeah. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I lost my virginity to a prostitute when I was 16. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's a great story, but uh, I was in the French Quarter. It was Y2K. Remember that? That was a big deal. So it was the night before the millennium change. So everybody was on edge. You know, we thought the world was going to end and all that. And I was walking down Bourbon Street as a 16-year-old boy, fresh pubic hair, new haircut, you know. And I had my FUBU on. I was looking good. And, you know, this lady was on the, on the balcony, hot, older lady. Kind of looked like Jennifer Aniston after a fist fight. And uh, she had a, a leather jacket with no shirt under it. And this is pre-internet porn, mind you. So that was like, we were just like, all right, we're going to plan here and just <laughs> stare at that uh, crazy coos all night. And she caught us staring. And she goes, why don't you guys come up? And we're like, oh, my god. Oh, we're flipping out, you know? And so we tried to go in the hotel. They said, no, guests only. You can't go in. So we went back. And we're like, hey, we, we, we can't get in. And she was like, I'm coming down. She comes down. She's got the leather jacket. The, the boobs are out. It was insane. And uh, she goes, you kids want to come up and throw some beads? And I was like, oh, she doesn't want to fuck us. You know, we're children. So my friend is like nudging her. He's like, it's, it's Y2K. Fuck it. Take a risk. <laughs> so I go, hey, look, I don't want to go on a 2000 a virgin. And she goes, well, I won't let you. And that was it. So she brought us upstairs. She told my two friends to go out on the balcony. By the way, she opened the door. There's a guy in a leather jacket and a Harley Davidson hat and a white beard sitting in a chair staring at the door. And he goes, which one is it? And she points to me. And he goes, you two on the balcony. So this is like an arrangement they have. I don't know if that was her husband, her pimp, her grandpa. I don't know what it was. But uh, yeah, we, we, they took them on the balcony. He closed the doors behind them. She hit the, the blinds. and. Uh, she goes, uh, how do you want to do this? And I go, I was so young and stupid. I was a virgin. And I go, well, I'll take a blowjob first, you know? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I don't give blowjobs. And I said, you, you fuck kids off the street, but you don't give blowjobs? <laughs> she didn't like that. Um, and she goes, no, shut up. Any other questions? And I go, are you clean? And she goes, do you want to do this or not? And I said, I'm sorry. And then. <laughs> She went to the bathroom, came out, wearing nothing but socks. I was blown away. She was super pretty and all that shit. And she does the pad on the bed. I sit down next to her. And uh, she goes, why don't you get a little more comfortable? Mind you, I was wearing a leather jacket, a sweater, a shirt under the sweater, jeans and shoes. So I, I took off the jacket. <laughs> and uh, she goes, do you have a condom? I said, yes. I pulled out a condom from like the Reagan era. You know, This thing was. <laughs> old and stretchy and yellow. And uh, she was like, hang on. She opened a drawer. She had lube, condoms, butt plugs, sex toys, dildos, vibrators. And I was like, oh my god, I'm in way over my head. So uh, I was too scared to show her my full package. So I just stuck the dick through the boxer <laughs> hole, because I was nervous. <laughs> and uh, we had sex for like two hours, two and a half hours. The whole thing was insane. I remember she had the worst breath, probably from the guy she blew before me. But uh, <laughs> horrific breath. Uh, but it was great. It was a great time. She taught me a lot. And uh, I, I got out of there. I pulled my pants up. I, I felt violated. I felt weird. I opened the door. My friends fell in. They were drinking out there for hours. So they're like, I got sloppy seconds. And I'm like pulling them out of there, you know? And. Uh, we went home, and I, I guess I got, uh, I guess I'm a Me Too survivor, because, uh, you know, I was assaulted. I was young. I was 16, so she's a pedophile by law, you know, but uh, she's got to be dead by now, you know. Uh, that was 20 years ago, and she was at least 58, so, so there you go, sir. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how long that was, but yeah. Best night of my life, still. That was Betty White. No, all right, okay. <laughs>